Would you like to become more of what you are? Keep watching. This is Life Mastery Gym. I'm Damon Card, and I teach people just like you cutting edge NLP processes and techniques so that you can master your life and take charge of your destiny. So if that sounds good, make sure you click subscribe right here down below so you can get these videos on a regular basis. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a much better understanding of how to cultivate a growth mindset. Now, why would that be important? Why would you wanna cultivate a growth mindset? Well, when you have a growth mindset, you can kind of put things on autopilot a bit. You, you don't have to think about them as much. You don't have to focus on them as much. You naturally gravitate toward greater growth and fulfilling your potential. I've spent the last several years working on myself and with many, many clients using NLP to do exactly that. The whole idea is not just to accomplish one thing. The idea is to become that person who accomplishes what it is that you want, what it is that fulfills you and satisfies you and is meaningful to you. Now, before I jump into this, just to let you know if along the way throughout this video, you have questions or comments, I really encourage you to type them into the comment section down below. I will respond to you. Also find down below in the description, I give you a link there that you can click and you'll get a free copy of the Elements of a Healthy Self-Concept, which plays right into cultivating a growth mindset. It all starts with having a very healthy sense of self. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So the first thing is, is that you wanna presuppose that anything that has potential wants to grow, and that's you. You have potential, therefore you naturally want to grow. Not only do you naturally want to grow, growth is quite natural. Now, yes, there might you might be say that I, you know I have all these things that I've tried and that it hasn't worked out, and I understand that. Um, this can come from internal obstacles. It can come from limiting beliefs. But I assure you, if you spend time with anything, you will get better at it. If you spend time doing something long enough, you will get better. You will accomplish what it is that you want. So presuppose that you naturally want to grow, that nothing is really trying to stop you from growing, that it is your natural state to actualize your potential. And that itself is growth. The next step here is to get clear about what growth will do for you. This will make growth extremely motivating. Now, you might be looking at, or you might be paying a lot of attention to people who have accomplishments and success and personal growth that looks really good and is envied by most people. And that might be why you're interested in that kind of growth. And to that, I would say still go for it because you will along that journey, if you keep going and you never quit, you will discover what it is that is truly your potential. And you can do a lot of homework beforehand on this to get very clear about it. And that is to, if you're feeling this call to grow, that is to get clear about what that growth would do for you. What is important about this? So you want to cultivate that growth mindset. Well, I say you already have it. So just connect with it. And if you're having trouble connecting with it, then ask yourself, well, what would growth do for me? What would personal growth do for me? And it may be good for you to separate out the two, uh, the, the different types of growth. You know, there's physical growth where you are cultivating a healthier body. There is personal growth. Personal growth can break off into a lot of smaller ones. Um, there may be social growth. There may be career growth. So it might be a good idea to chunk things down into different contexts. So if I were to grow in my career, what would that do for me? What would that look like? What would that sound like? If I were to grow in my social life, again, what would that look like? What would that sound like? What would I be doing? And what would it do for me? What would be important about that? If I got to where I wanted to be socially, what, what would that do for me? And then the same thing physically. If I wanted to grow in my health, what would that do for me? What's important about it? And you can ask these questions repeatedly. As the answers come up, keep applying the questions. What's important about that to me? What, what would that do for me? And this gets where you start to really tap into your values behind what growth means to you. And this is extremely motivating. In fact, this is what motivation is. A lot of people think motivation is, you know, pumping yourself up and, um, 
you know, you see this in a lot of the guru, with the gurus and their their workshops and their their events. Man, that stuff fades really, really fast. So when you tap into though your values, what's really driving your desires, that's where true motivation is. And as long as you're tapped into that, as long as you're connected with that, you'll never have to look for motivation ever again because you'll feel it. The motivation will come from you. So get very clear about what's important to you about growth and what will growing do for you. And again, if, if you try to go at this like really broad in general, you might have trouble coming up with answers. But if you break it down to the individual context where you want to grow, this gets a lot easier and the answers will come a lot easier. And the third thing you can do that I find extremely helpful is create a vision of yourself, the ideal you, the you who is always growing and create an image of yourself with no particular context and you're not doing any particular behavior. And the reason for this is that it'll generalize most widely throughout your life. You just see an image of you, the ideal you who is always growing, who is growing in all the ways that you want to be growing, who is creating everything in your life that you want because you're growing into it. You're becoming that person who has the things that you want, who has the life that you want, and who has accomplished what you want. And see that image right in front of yourself. Remember, no particular context. You can do a green screen behind you. You can do a white screen, black screen, whatever works for you. Just see that ideal image of yourself and no particular behavior. You're just standing there or sitting there in the image. And just there's something about this image and tune it up. Make it very compelling. Make it bright, big, colorful. This is the you who is always growing. And this will give you motivation. This will also give you a direction to follow, to become him or her, to become that person who is a person who is growing into your potential at all times. Of course, there's always a lot more to this. There's always more to cultivating a growth mindset. But what I've given you in this video is extremely powerful. The three things you need to do is presuppose that anything with potential wants to grow. That's you. You have potential and you want to grow. And then ask yourself, what will growing do for you? And that's, this is where your motivation is going to come from. Break it down into individual contexts. Ask yourself, what would growing be like? What would it do for you? What's important about it? Then also, last but not least, create a vision of yourself. Put it right up in front of you. Make it very motivating, compelling. And this is the growing you, the one, the, the, the you who is growing into your potential. And this can be extremely motivating. So if you want to take this even deeper, if you want to go further with it, like I said at the beginning of the video, in the description below, you will find a link. You click that link and it will bring you to an option to download a free PDF. And the PDF is the elements of a healthy self concept. If you really want to supercharge your potential and your growth, it's very, very important that you come from a healthy, solid, strong foundation. And that is your sense of self. There's nothing that is stronger. There is no bigger, stronger belief in your life and who you are than your identity, your self-concept. So check that PDF out. If you like this video, as always, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't already, and why haven't you already, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the bell right down there so that you can get notified when I put new videos out. And last but not least, as always, if you can think of a friend or a family member who you think would really like this video and could really benefit from this video, Make sure you share it with them. Take care.